Hey guys, how are you today? <laughs> Can you believe how big this is? Holy crap. Okay, so I've been saving for quite a while now, like every single little piece of Happy Mail note. You send me a note in Happy Mail, I save the note. I wasn't saving the envelopes right away. I was, um, if they were decorated, I was cutting them up and using them in other artwork in my journals and stuff. And then it dawned on me, oh, I'm going to save the envelopes because I have an idea. But I did save all of the little special custom little pieces of artwork that you sent me and the notes. Some of the artwork's hanging in my studio, but there's a lot of it and I love all of it. Did not have the heart to pass any of it along to anybody else. It was meant for me and I'm keeping it. Dang it. <laughs> but I don't have enough wall space in my studio. So what do I do with all this? My box that I stored in was like bulging. I made a journal. <laughs> Look how fat it is. Can you believe that? Um, okay, so the spine is <laughs> six and a half inches. <laughs> oh my gosh. So this is 99% Happy Mail. It's probably 1% swap mail, mail art swap kind of mail, KIF swap, little notes and things like that. Um, but I'll, most of it, or maybe it's a little more swap mail, maybe as much as 5% or 10%, but most of it is happy mail. And I love that. Um, I made the cover out of some painty file folders I did. If you want to know how I did these, Patty Tolly Parish, go and watch her channel. She shows how to do these. It's fabulous. Um, I'll try to remember to link her video in the description below. Um, envelope style junk journals, if you want to know how to do, the, do those, Shannon Green. Um, another YouTuber, and I didn't ever start making junk journals or envelope journals until I saw her video and light bulbs just blew off in my head. Um, I love her style of making journals. And so, <clears throat> anyway, she does a lot of them, so go watch her tutorial. I'm not going to show you how to do them because she does it very well. And she just makes them out of found objects and what she has. And that's kind of what I did here. So I have it being held closed with an elastic hairband. I love to pick these up at the Dollar Tree um, and use them just for what I'm using them for here, which is um, a belly band for my really fat journals to keep them kind of closed. Um, it's the only way this one's going to stay closed because I'll take it off and you'll see what happens when I take it off. <laughs> it just immediately goes... Psh! <laughs> I thought I left enough room between each signature for everything I was going to stick in there, but no, <laughs> not really. So I just used all of your envelopes, some of your notes. I'm going to be a little careful about turning the pages. In each of the envelopes, I made them into a pocket, and I, that's from a Crazy Island family swap. Uh, I'm sorry, journaling Crazy Island style um, swap that we did over in that class that I teach. Um, I put your notes in. I realized real quickly that some of you have sent me really cool um, paper clips. So I used the paper clips on some things um, to hold the little notes in. See, there's a pocket. Oh, yeah, it has something in it. So I have something in every single pocket. Oop, flying paper clip. <sighs> Let's stick that back on there. So I have something on every single pocket, and some of them have these paper clips on them, on the notes and things. So I love that. I'm just trying to be careful about turning these pages because some, in some cases your addresses are on here. I didn't take them off, but every time you all sent me something, I saved it. <laughs> it's in here. It's in here, it's in here, it's in here. So I love I love this and it's huge and full and very stuffed. <laughs> very, very gigantic. It's just every pocket has, you know, something in it. There's I did uh, took a class with Minnie Murphy Lacefield a couple years ago now, and as part of the class we did sort of a um, you know, we did a mail art swap, and this is one of the little ones that I got from somebody. And don't you love that? I have a couple of those in here. Um, they're fabulous. And so different little things like that. A paper clip one of you sent me that um, has this goldfish bowl on it, uh, you know. And I just, cards, and if you sent me your business card, I put that on there. And 
yeah, I, I love it. So thank you all for sending me so such wonderful things that I'm able to turn them into this fabulous journal. And I am going to put it out in the front living room with my other journals. They all live out in the front room for the public, anybody who comes over to see. And I love them. Somebody's texting me. Can you believe that? <laughs> Probably asking me, are you watching football? No, I'm not watching football. <laughs> it's Super Bowl Sunday, and I know I'm not watching football. All right. So if you have lots of swap mail or happy mail, mail from your arty friends, and you don't know what to do with it, Make a junk journal. Make an envelope journal, a, basically a journal that's full of pockets that you can stick these things into. And I think that's a fabulous idea. I love it, and I'm going to go stick it out on my shelf. It's so fat. It just makes you want to laugh. All right, that's it for today. If you'd like to support my free tutorials, free live broadcasts that I have every week, please think about shopping in my Etsy shop or hit the support button on my YouTube channel's main page. You have to be on a PC or in your browser to see the button. Um, and don't forget the most important thing. Go out and have a great day. Do something nice for yourself because you deserve it. I'll see you later. Thanks for the happy mail. Bye.